I was working with a group of sales managers a couple of months ago, and we were debriefing their emotional intelligence assessments. Now, it was interesting because one of the sales managers made this observation. So with my high empathy score, if I don't apply self-awareness, I could be a sales manager that becomes an enabler. And this statement sparked a great conversation around this question. Are we as sales leaders enabling our salespeople or empowering our salespeople? Because an enabler, by definition, is a person that accepts excuses. They accept uh, non-productive behavior, in fact, sometimes destructive behavior. And it's easy for all of us in sales management to fall into enabling behaviors, especially during the pandemic, because I think Every leader out there has struggled with that fine line of being supportive, caring, and empathetic, but looking across the line, realizing we've got revenue dollars to hit. So how do you know if you're falling into enabling sales management behaviors or empowering sales management behaviors? Well, let's look at this situation from both perspectives. Situation from enabling. You guys, I know, I know Sandra's running behind plan, but come on, we used to get all our leads from trade shows, association, networking. It's no wonder her pipeline isn't full. We need to give her a break. Same situation from a sales manager that's all about empowering and encouraging her team to think, do, and be different. Okay, sales team, let's take a look at business development. First of all, can we all acknowledge the pandemic sucks. We used to get all of our leads from trade shows, association, networking. Not only was it a great lead source, it was fun. But the reality is the world has changed and so must we. So the question I'm going to throw out to all of us today is what selling skill, what prospecting skill do we need to learn and master to fill our sales pipeline? One sales manager is coming from an enabling point of view. The other sales manager is empowering and encouraging your team to think, do, and be different. So sales managers, apply the EQ skill of self-awareness. Are you falling into being an enabler or are you empowering your sales team to think, do, and be different? I'm Colleen Stanley, President of Sales Leadership. Thanks for joining me today.